going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of TSP, episode 172. This week, we are joined by friend of show and the proud owner of the one of one D'Lo signed photograph, Matt Schmeezy Handyman Smith. We discuss Matt's long-term and short-term goals and his new pivot in life and career choice, home improvement. You're not a real one if you don't have any souvenir cups in your cabinet. A man parlayed $2 to $1,500 on FanDuel, all for it just to be garnished by the Louisiana state government. For what again? Production falling back at Rockstar, pushing back GTA 6 to possibly 2026. A sequel to a goaded movie that we never asked for, we definitely don't need, and Happy Gilmore 2. Kendrick Lamar or Kendrick Labars having beef with the big three? Bobby smokes a roast and also makes some Drake sausage soup. And this week for TSP Tears, we are tearing cheese and cheese products. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give us the thumbs up. It helps us with the algorithms and pushes us out there to newer listeners and followers alike. Be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And comment down below of your thoughts and opinions of the show. Also, if you'd like to give us any suggestions for a future tier list, have at it. With all that being said, enjoy the show. You are now tuned in. 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 You are now tuned in to the TSP. Got the game in our hand like a PSP. Bob Dylan Joe, one hell of a show. All the mother podcasts, let it go. That sh- that y'all recording, born, got a snore. TSP hitting like T early in the morning. Been doing all things since 2019. Pay respect, bow down, baby, kiss the ring. Take a second, enjoy the moment. You witnessing greatness. Still welcome if you knew, forgiving your lateness. You streaming in your car, then let it ride. If you on the YouTube, like the video, subscribe. Yes, sir. TSP episode 172. I'm your host, Bobby Hall. And with me, as always, my co-host, Dylan Savage. Dylan, it's been a little bit of a rough start for you, man. But how are you feeling now? And we're feeling good. We're feeling good. We got a special co-host guest with us tonight. Or I guess this morning. Depending on when you're listening. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, there he is. The young schmeez, Matt Smith. Filling what it do was going to be the guest of this week, but uh, he's going to be our third cohort. We'll get into to what he's been into. Hopefully, maybe get a little status update on the one of one Dylan LaSavage signed poster. Hopefully, that's still in existence. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's still a very coveted item. So, um, I guess, I guess we'll ask right out the gate, man. Is it still in, in pristine shape? It's, uh, wh- what's where's its, its location right, right now? It's currently in the attic. But okay. it is it is bubble wrapped and uh, it's ready to be placed in the basement stairwell once that's finished. So, <laughs> yeah, you gave me a little little uh, video of um, you know your kitchen. It looks like you guys got quite a few projects going on at the house. So, I look forward to seeing uh, the finished product and you know that uh, beautiful piece of artwork hung up on the walls there. So, I'm glad I that, should uh, put it right behind okay. the toilet. I should put it behind the toilet. That's what I thought, because I know that was the original plans. Yeah. You, know, you, you had a basement bathroom. I think that'd be a great spot. Okay. That's going to, that'll, that'll probably be where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the football player? I don't want to disrespect you, though, every time I'm taking a piss. I don't. Want... <laughs> Here's the thing no, the good. guests are going to come in there and see that and be confused at first. But then once they see that it's signed, they're going to be like, this has got to be somebody of, of note. <laughs> It's, it's, so. it's definitely a, uh, a conversation starter. <laughs> you should change yeah, your story man. every time it's your ass, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But thanks for uh, jumping on with us. And, and now thanks for, for being our third uh, co-host of the week, man. It's good to see you. Absolutely. It's been a while since we've had any face-to-face uh, you know, talk. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Probably since what pandemic, Call of Duty days, war, the War Zone days. A little after that, he usually comes on once a season. So yeah. I mean, we took a year off. So probably yeah, 20, 2022. I think. Yeah. yeah, time's a flat circle. 
speaking of, I, I heard I heard Verdansk is back. Is that have you heard anything about that? I seen Tim the Tatman talking about it. I thought that was interesting. I know nothing. I mean, I haven't played Call of Duty probably since a little after that time period. Well, you man, you don't look at prices, you don't look at ads, you don't look at videos, shows. Mm-mm. Just look at the road. Yeah. <sighs> One striped line after another. Yeah. That's what I've <laughs> learned in the last 20 minutes. Fucking A, brother. Yeah, you know. But you're going Coast. back to third shift, right? Or are you already back on? Uh, No, I had Friday off to kind of get accumulated. I kind of pissed away that opportunity on Friday and just kept my normal sleep schedule. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been up currently right now. Been up for like probably like 25 hours, but I had like a nap and I, I must have had a nap in between like the hours of 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. Like on and off. Like it's like one of those naps where like you're consciously hear things, but for some reason time went by quicker than usual. If that makes sense. Every nap. So, I must have been like phase one of a sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. Try to watch some Oppenheimer last night. Not a bad, That's not a bad flick. You to sleep. It's not a bad flick. Yeah, a lot of like lot of dialogue. Long, yeah. It's like three hours long. Yeah, a lot of dialogue for like. A I haven't up. seen it yet. And and someone of my ethnicity is that something I want to go watch? Yeah. Or is that going to make me feel away? Okay. I know the backstory. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you'd be all right. You'll be all right. I don't want a bunch of awards. I mean, I'm it's Christopher Nolan, right? I'm a fan of his. So. Big fan. Yeah. I like his his uh I don't know his views on cinematography. He did uh Dark Knight, that series, Batman series, the th- trilogy. Probably one of the best trilogies of Batman. You could argue probably. Easily. I mean it's probably a top trilogy just in general. Oh yeah. It's really yeah. really good shit. I think yeah, what what's his name? Christian Bale. I think he's the best Batman. He's played the best Batman, so and then you he obviously that. had Absolutely. The, the the Oscar nominating. I think she actually he actually won the uh, nomination for supporting actor and Heath Ledger for Joker. Oh yeah. Either supporting or best actor, I'm not sure. But yeah, stellar performances and he is and I'm gonna tell you now, I don't know because was that after he died? Because he would have won it dead or alive, I think. He won it when he was role. yeah, he was de- he was dead unfortunately when he got the award. But I'm sure died, some he, people throw that in there like he just won it out of you know, sympathy, no. but he he I mean, he killed that. That was great. Yeah, there's no no denying, no den- denying the talent. Yeah, it's definitely a an incredible role to have to play in general. Like Joaquin Phoenix, and he he crushed it too. Maybe you know, in a different way, um, did a better job. But like he yeah. loved his role in that movie was just off the charts. Yeah, I hope. That uh, he's in therapy, the way the way he plays that role. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that he's, and I'm I'm sure he probably is, but yeah, I hope he's in therapy. Um, but Dylan, 25 hours. How how um have you been? I mean, I don't I know Matt's doing brackets and shit. Did you do a bracket, Dylan? How's it, how's it looking? I think looks my like you might have had Auburn winning it all. From what, yeah, I try to get a little spicy with it, but. Yeah. Looking back, I kind of went against the Ten Commandments of betting, and you always fade a Big Ten or a, not Big Ten. You always fade a major conference champion in your brackets, and you have no stones if you pick a number one seed. Is what I. Well, I you're you're between a rock and a hard place at that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you know, like you're. Uh, well, I don't think Illinois is a one seed. No, they're a three seed. So, so they're good. Iowa Iowa State's a two seed, so I think that's a good good pick there. But they won their they won their conference tournament. They did. They did. Illinois did as well. And they're from the Big Ten, so it's even a bigger fade, but they're looking pretty damn good. But I don't know. It's it's been a good tournament. Um I mean I wouldn't say I'm doing terrible. I think I'm like like eighty something percent. Do you success. think um the Dylan effect was in play at all there? No. I don't think so. I was just trying to probably. I probably got a little too cute with it with the Auburn pick. That kind of fucked me in points. If it wasn't for the Auburn pick, I'd probably be doing pretty damn good right now. Okay. Outside of everything else, like I picked, I picked some uh, good upsets. I think you didn't have Oakland. 
I was. I think I did. I, I did have Oakland. I did have the Oakland upset. I think. I love NC State. They're probably the best eleven seed out there. Definitely rooting yeah. for them moving forward. I've enjoyed um my betting hiatus. My screen time's gone down significantly. Although Tori came up to me like early last week and she's like, "Did you see this?" And it was like a thing from FanDuel. Like they'll match. They'll match whatever your deposit is. Fifty percent up to twenty five dollars. Like the devil on my shoulder. I was like, "No, nah, I don't want to do that." <laughs> Hey, man. You got to be consistent with it. Everyone has down times. Just got to push through it. I'm going to be 100% honest. I got a lot of love for you, Dylan. You'd be the last person I'd follow their betting advice. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm up right now. You only know my you only know my losses. I that's not what I was told. You're neutral. Well, I guess, yeah, if you think about it that way, yeah. But it's all house money neutral. Started with, like, what, 10, 20, 10, 20 bucks or something like that. But it's not like I won that big parlay and I lost it all on stupid bets. But I'm basically where I was. I root for you, man. Your moods are uh, created by how, how you're doing that day gambling. Do you have um, the casino? Do you have the casino available? No. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. God. Yeah, so because... that's where... Yeah, when that's I, where it's over. Michigan does. And when I cross yeah. there, sometimes when I'm working out, we'll cross, I'll cross up into Michigan. You throw that on there, and you go into DraftKings, it's it's right there. There's a, just a, a button, button. for blackjack. <laughs> it's a button. And I've gotten down a couple times, and it's dangerous, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's just fun, a though. click of a button. It is fun, but it's just, I mean, it's... You're not waiting five hours for a game to start. It's instant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, That's the beauty that's of the it. dangerous part. Yeah. I'd rather go Very to a dangerous. casino, though. And I'm sure it's inevitable. I mean, it'll... I mean, there's casinos and shit here, so I don't even know why it wasn't even um, added on to begin with, but I don't know. Ohio's kind of weird with this shit. Like, they just got rid of player props in college basketball, which is goofy as fuck. Yeah, I saw that. So, um, I don't know. Our governor's a fucking cuck, but... It is what it is. Doesn't have my vote. Not my mayor. Governor, whatever. Not your, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know your mayor? The mayor of Troy? Uh, no, I don't. You I'm should run, politi- dude. Not a political guy. Not anymore? I don't even know my sheriff guy. Or girl. Yeah, you, you felt you were you felt the burn and it was and then it just sh- shied you away? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I mean, I felt the burn, but I also went to the Trump rally, so I was I was still on the fence. I went to both. <clears throat> I listened to both. Trump probably was pretty nuts, <laughs> as you would as you would imagine. I would, yeah, I don't know. He's just such a polarizing human, right? Like, I felt like I was literally in a Dark Knight movie when I was. uh Waiting in, in line on outside the Huntington Center in downtown Toledo, like one side of the streets waiting to get into the building for the rally. And then the other side of the street, you just have people with megaphones and protesters and signs and hatred. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wild times, man. Um same with the weather, dude. The weather I mean, we got we got um spoiled the last couple of weeks, Dylan, here in Ohio. Getting some nice spring like weather. Usually I mean good fifty to I mean, even 70, 50 to 70 degree span there for about a week and a half, two weeks. Now we're back to, you know, reality and it's sucked. It's been 30s have been the high and really with the wind here, probably more like in the teens or the 20s. So um, I'm ready. I'm ready for that that window of when we have like consistent 65 to like 75 degree days. That's like my favorite time of year. So I'll be bitching in the in like two or three months that it's gonna mm-hmm. be ninety five degrees out. You know what I mean? Electric bills to the goddamn roof because I got that AC just cranking. But yeah, that that like um, mid April to early June. That's like that's where it's at, baby. Yeah, and just I can't set, wait. set the bill to auto pay. Set it and forget it. So there, I don't have your money, dude. I got. I look at. I look at menu prices. I look at my electric bills. I don't uh, set it and forget it, baby. 
<laughs> I know you're I going mean, back on the thirds. That's like your money bag shift, but fuck, man. I um, I did not know you were rolling in like that. Congrats. I unfortunately <laughs> have to watch everything closely. Nah, I don't know. It's the... Uh, um, what was I going to say? Oh, weather down here. I mean, I don't know. How, you're making it sound like it's got pretty shitty weather. I mean, I, outside of what we discussed last week with the tornadoes and shit, like it's been pretty even keel over here. We had probably like a cold spell for maybe one or two days on Monday and Tuesday. But ever since then, midday has been probably 50, 60s down here, down here in the south. Yeah, I guess I guess that's fair. Uh, I mean, we've gotten snow a couple times. It's been. Damn it. I mean, nothing like any kind of major, you know, accumulations, but still, it's just depressing to see that shit. And I don't know, man, Genoa is just the fucking windiest place on the planet. So, that wind chill. Fuck wind chill, man. It's, I hate it. Yeah, without the wind, it'd be like, what, 30 degrees warmer? Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> but your boy still went out, though, last Sunday. And uh, even though, because remember, I texted you guys, it started snowing again, so I... Thought I was fucked, but I, I smoked that chuck roast. Um, they call it a poor man's brisket, even though chuck roast I think is more expensive than fucking um, brisket anymore, or as as expensive. So I started smoking that, and then um, it, it fucking snowed for like twenty minutes. So I was like, I I think I'm fucked here. So I ended up I was uh, I brought that shit inside and I was just gonna fin- finish in the oven. And as soon as I pull it off, get the fucking grill unplugged and and start to put out the fire and shit it of course the snow stops so i uh, i put it back on there it took a little bit longer because i had to fucking reheat the grill and the whole shit but as you can see there it came out great i mean it's got a phenomenal smoke ring got a nice little bark on there and that shit it was it was super tender man it was like butter um salivating Kro- kroger had a couple of those that they had a truck roast on sale this week so i bought a couple to put in the freezer i'll probably do that again next week because it was spectacular man Made a couple sandwiches with a little, uh, had some horseradish sauce on there, Swiss cheese. Phenomenal. So this is a chuck um, roast? Yeah, like what you'd put in your crock pot, you know, to make right. whatever, be, you know, beef stew you or smoke whatever it? Fuck you do. Yeah, because they, um, you can basically, it comes out as you look, as you see here, kind of like, like a brisket, like almost, and it tastes a lot of the same. And, um... Until recently, I mean, it was usually cheaper than it would be to do a brisket. Um, the reason I bought a few more of those because on sale. Plus, I mean, it probably took a third of the time. Like, if you do a, a brisket, I mean, that shit can take almost a whole full day. I, like, when we went to see Walt in Michigan, I think he said it took 24 hours to cook that thing. Fuck that. This thing took probably all together, but maybe like seven hours. So, is it like the same method as a brisket? Need a cooler essentially. Uh, no, I uh, I I placed that because once it got up to like one sixty five, I pulled it out, put it in a tin with some uh, apple juice, apple cider vinegar, a little Worcestershire sauce, um, and then I put some butter on top of it, wrapped that up in foil, put that thing back on there until it got to like two o three, and then pulled it off. Okay, and it was good to go. Let let it sit for like. I don't know, hour, hour and a half, and then slice it up, dude. And as you can see there, it's just, it was so easy. It was so easy to cut up. And it's just, uh, I was blown away, man. I mean, cause that, that smoke ring right there is just beautiful. So, um, I've been having, I've been having some fun with this new smoker, man. Grill and smoker. I'm gonna do some chicken wings today. It's cold again, but, um, fuck it. I'm gonna be out there doing the thing. Oh yeah, dude! You you posted some kind of soup. I'm trying to find it now. Yeah, sausage and bean soup, man. That's uh that that quickly became our our biggest video for views and likes by a, a large margin. So I think that's like I told you guys. I think it'd be good for us to start posting. It doesn't necessarily have to be cooking either. Just different shit besides show clips. And I, I think it'll help. I think we sense. also got like ten followers off. So it's like followers, views, and and likes were all went up off that one video so are you so, kind of yeah that's who i i found that shit online um because i was like you know i know it's gonna be cold again this weekend soup season man i'm a big soup guy 
I wanted to see if I could maybe find something I never tried before. I stumbled upon this sausage and bean soup, added my own little flavor to it. Came out great. Tori loved it. Took some to, to work today. I'm going to probably um, finish off the rest for lunch later. And then uh, shout out to Kyle Brown. He uh, sent me a Snapchat last week. He was at Walmart, and Walmart sells these fucking loaves of French bread with everything bagel seasoning on there. Oh, my God. I'm like, fuck yeah. So I went and got one of those yesterday and um, took a stick of butter, some garlic, uh, some seasoning and shit, parsley, and then brushed that on that bread, cut in half, put some Colby Jack on there, and had some garlic cheese bread to go alongside that that soup. It was great, man. It was a real nice uh, winter winter meal. But as you can see, man, yeah, hit the little 15 hundo so view we mark. For weeks. Ohio, we've been hitting 50 to 70 degrees. And then Mother Nature said, fuck that. We're going back to 20s, 30s, windy as shit, snow. So today, uh, I'm going to try a little something I found on the internet. Smoked sausage and bean like soup. Sounds a little crazy. Off the rip. Right. TV shirt. Classic. No, I think it's going to turn out. It's going to absolutely bang on this cold ass day. Let's see what happens. All right, so you want to cut up and toss in them Drake links if you know you goddamn know. And throw them in the pot, let them start browning up. We'll start chopping these onions and veggies. Them Drake links, baby. All right, next up, you got to throw that onion in there, green Half pepper, serving. garlic. I chopped that onion up. I'm going to keep it a buck, though. Did not chop the pepper or the garlic up. It is what it is. We keep going. Toss on your, your salt, your pepper. Garlic powder, onion powder, season all. I did some Kinder's, the blend. Uh, and what else did I do? A little garlic salt, too, to really put a little pep in this mouth. All right, I also threw in some uh, red pepper flake, a little smoked paprika, and some cayenne pepper, man, for a kick. All right, so I put a little flour in there, mixed it up for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to add in about a cup of milk. Then I'll also add in some heavy whipping cream because, you know, this shit about to be divine. <laughs> that was ranch at first. Dashes of some I said a couple dashes and put like a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> White kidney beans. Your dark red. We're going to stir that shit up a little bit. Let it get incorporated. Let them meet each other. A couple of hellos. How you doing? Keep it rolling, baby. All right, we got her bubbling and rubbling and troubling. So let that go for about 15 to 20. We're going to work on something while that's going. My boy got me hip to this everything French bread from Walmart. I mean, that season, it, dude. Just, it was death. so good. Mm. I'm going to turn this into some garlic bread to serve alongside that soup. It's going to bang. All right, so I took that bread, took a stick of butter. Mix it with some of that Kinder's, the blend, which is salt, pepper, Kojak, garlic. Kojak, you know what that is for me. Mix in some minced garlic. Yeah, baby. Brush it on the bread here. Put a little Colby Jack on there. And toss that in the oven. A little garlic cheese bread to go with the soup. So I'm letting this go for a little bit longer. Because what I ended up doing, I added some corn. And as you can see there, to add a little color. And, you know, it don't hurt to add some greens. Put a little spinach in there, too. So, honestly, this is going to be end up being more like a chowder than a soup. But... I tasted it and it's it's fire. Just pulled out that garlic mm. cheese bread, mm. looking spectacular. I'm gonna cut that up here soon. Yes, Sirski. So that's basically it. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to grab a recipe online and add my own little zest to it, like I just did there. I kind of turned this thing into more of a chowder. You know, adding corn. It's kind of a little thicker too. Spinach. Didn't ask for it, but I thought it sounded good. Had it in the fridge. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's cold again today, cold windy where I'm at in Ohio. So I can't wait to try it. Especially I'm gonna be dipping in that that garlic cheese bread as well. But tune in, watch. We got the podcast on Monday. I'll definitely be talking about it, and uh, I'll be giving my thoughts. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. Not too bad. That was my first major TikTok. You know, um, I thought it'd be a good little thing to throw up there. And it seems to be doing pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of 
I want to start doing some shit like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to necessarily be cooking stuff. If you're out and about doing whatever, you know, um, you know, throw something together, man. I think that'd be good. Good to go. Maybe I'll be the um, trend guy. You, you, you and Joe can take over the food. <laughs> I'm just playing <laughs> whatever trends are out there. And I just fucking do the trends. Can you dance? Not the steroid. The the trends. Yeah, the dances and stuff. That's great. I would love that. So please, please do that. Can I dance? Um, Is that a real question? I mean, if you want to give him a little deal hole real quick, that's always welcomed on this show. Shake uh, yeah. your ass for me. Timing has to be right. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, though, that, that soup came out um fire, dude. It was it was great. Really hit the spot. Um that's the beauty of soup, today. Dude. I'm going to do some chicken wings and I'll probably put together something to post up um, maybe later today or tomorrow or some shit. And um, yeah, I'm trying to kind of keep that going there. See what we can do on the, on the old talk there um, before it gets destroyed. Who the fuck knows? But um, yeah, uh, before we do go any further, though, I, de- I definitely want to make because I know he'll be listening. He's one, he listens every week. We got to shout out our boy, Nate Walter. His daughter just had her first birthday this week. So. Um, I know they, they've been celebrating this weekend, so we definitely want to shout that out. That's that's a beautiful thing. Um, he's got another one on the way, uh, baby boy, I believe. So, and that's coming up pretty soon. So, he's going to be uh, fully immersed in, in the dad world, and uh, it's awesome, man. I definitely I've seen his his posts and stuff like that. I def, it's uh, having kids um, turns you into a just a puddle of. You know emotions and stuff, so I can tell. And Nate's not one of those guys where you can still tell uh, he was he was feeling it that day because it it uh, the cliche lines is that it goes quick, dude, and everyone just kind of scoffs at that, but it is a real ass fact. It's flying by, dude, flying by. I got ten year old Jackson, be six in a few months. It's just fucking nuts. <laughs> but I I love the ride, man. It's been a great ride. But yeah, shout out to Nate and his family on that. Um. But uh, Shmees, I want to I want to get in with you. Um, you. You know, you are our third host this week, but I still have some guest questions for you because, um, you know, since we had you on last, probably about a year and a half ago, um, you know, a lot of things have changed for you professionally. You know, obviously physically, as we see here, <laughs> um, all kinds of things, man. But we'll start from the top because uh, last time we talked to you, you were um, in the golf world. Big time, you know that was your dream job. You you've been talking about it, you know, since you and I really gotten close. That's you've always wanted to get into golf any way you could. Got your foot in the door and just uh, you know made it happen, and I uh, loved it. But you know, as of probably what six months ago, you um, a maybe a little months, longer, yeah. give or take, you decided to uh, pivot into a whole new world, and um, I want to talk about it, man. So uh, I guess you can let the people know what it is that you are doing now and what made you want to move from what was once considered, you know, your, your dream gig to what you're doing now. Yeah, man. I was in the golf business for almost a decade. And the, uh, the deeper I got in and closer to becoming a head golf pro, um, I realized that it was taking a lot of personal time away from me and, and my family. And, you know, you have a kid and you realize like, what's really important. So, um, you know, I used to do side jobs and handyman work on the side in the winter times when I was laid off. And so I kind of took that and transitioned it into a full-time gig and got out of the golf business and, um, full-time handyman home improvement projects. Um, I spent a lot of time, really the pandemic was kind of the, the big kickoff of like, starting to build stuff and fix things and you know you're cooped up inside i was just trying to find some things to do and learn and and that kind of was the thing that shined a little bit and you know my dad was an electrician and he taught me a lot of stuff along the way but uh it's been fun man been able to go into people's homes and fix things for them and you know serve the community a little bit where i live and Make my own schedule, most importantly. So, that'd be the best part, right there, is the schedule. Yeah, 
for sure. You're probably, you, you said you started off the pandemic. That has to be what you're working with wood, the most expensive time to start something like that. Yeah, it was just, you know, like building stuff for the outside and general carpentry and, you know, that kind of got into repairing drywall and, you know, doing some electrical work, a little bit of plumbing. And then it just, you know, the more you, you learn and watch videos and talk to people and fail, basically. I mean, there's so many times where you make a mistake and learn from it and yeah it's been a it's been a fun journey but golf isn't a, uh out of the question you know in the future but i think that i've found a nice um um in between for me where i can still be outside work with my hands make my own schedule spend as much time with my family as i can so very still fortunate keep, still keep golf as a hobby right that's kind of the <laughs> this will be the first time in my life that i've this year that i'll be able to just go out and play whenever I want really um, without having to worry about it being my job, I suppose, or like playing yeah. at the golf course that I worked at. It was, you know, I could go play whenever I wanted, but it, it's, it was, it was different because I couldn't More enjoyable. Just, um, have a good time. Right. Right. Were they cool with you uh, bowing out or did they try to like do what they could to keep you around? Yeah. My, uh, my boss was, was incredible. I mean, he, he was my mentor for the last five and a half years. And, um, he's a guy that I went to and I was like, Hey, I think I, I think I need to get out of the golf business cause I'm not seeing my family as much as I'd like. And he's like, listen, I understand, you know, I'd love to keep you around. So he, he made a schedule adjustment for me and, um, allowed me to stay where I was working and, um, kind of transition into what I'm doing now. So I'm really, really, really blessed that, uh, I had I had good people supporting me, um, you know, because I mean, I think most people, if you go to your boss and say like, hey, I'm thinking about leaving, they'll be like, don't let the door hit you on the way out. You know, it's um, good luck. So very fortunate. Yeah, man, because I mean, from probably what, March to November, you were usually pretty balls to the wall with with that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Even probably a little bit longer. Um, so I'm sure it'll be nice. Like you said, you got your own schedule, plenty of family time. And yeah, I don't know. It's some you and uh, like my three of my best friends, man, you, you, James and Foley just all yeah. of a sudden the last like six months all <laughs> decided to go into business for yourselves, which is really cool. And uh, everyone seems to be thriving and stuff. So it's been, it's been fun to watch, man. So yeah, I, uh, I definitely dig that, man. It seems like you have a pretty good, uh, number of clientele and stuff so that's good and uh, i've seen your work that you post online everything looks pretty legit so i i had no idea that you had any of this skill set <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so it's impressive to see uh i've known you to be one to you know spill and break things rather than the opposite so it's good i'll fill you in on some some stories down the line of uh some fuck ups i've had <laughs> <laughs> but you know shit happens but it's fun man now that yeah. in your new so in your new gig here what what's been maybe like your biggest project to date um i well i'm redoing my kitchen right now that's probably for me uh the biggest project you know we tore down a wall took all the way down to the studs um these are old you know we live in old an old house too so it's plaster walls and it's a lot of work but um, I do a lot of fences, so you know those are those are big ticket items, um, and and it's you know week long projects, two two week long projects, and but most stuff that I do is is small repairs and um, you know putting in bathroom vanities and hanging TVs and you know drywall repairs deck repairs stuff like that so um it's all different too that's a nice thing that's what i like is it i don't have one specific thing that i'm that i'm always working on there's always something new and something to learn and um yeah man it's all i'm i'm lucky i live in a, a like a pretty tight-knit community in, in hamden connecticut here and um you know most i would say 95 percent of my work is in my neighborhood which is like 
That's I have great. no I have no travel costs, so you know yeah. I'm able to put out a good product for a good price, and it's a lot of fun though. I really enjoy it. What do you get so, so when you uh, get when you get in the uh, the work truck? Uh, that's the one thing on the horizon right now. I don't know. We're I'm trying to save up and and pay cash for it, but uh, I'm also being denied loans right now because I don't have I, I haven't been full time with the business, so I don't have any. Uh, you know, revenue proof from the last few years. That's... Are you the Human Torch? <laughs> I was denied a bank loan. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you, Dylan. Go ahead. What did you say? <laughs> I was to say, uh, what is your, uh, where's your contractor uh, um, agreement with as far as where you get your supplies and your account? So I have, um, I have quite a few different businesses that I that give me. Not wholesale pricing, but um, I do a lot of shopping at Home Depot. Um, it's right down the street for me, very convenient. But, um, you know, like I have a local cabinet distributor, I have a local plumbing supply company that I go to, nice. um, local electrical supply company, um, if I need something really specific. Uh, and then there's a there's a fence company down the street for me that I, I source a lot of material from as well. So um, Nice. Yeah, it's good. You know, it just takes takes a little while to develop the relationships and and right. you know getting what you want because Home Depot doesn't have it all and their products not. You know. Well, I can great. tell you right now from personal experience, stay the hell away from Lowe's. So yeah, <laughs> I tend to. That Young fence, good to dude. Young fence. Young fence. Let's go. <laughs> I need a fence, dude. Any? Can I get you to fly out to Ohio and? Put a fence in for me. I would love to, man. You gotta pay for your flight and everything, but hey, I'll pay for your flight to come to Troy. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. The I traveling handyman now, dude. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fence and a new uh, back back deck. So I'm I'd be happy. To do it. Do it. I'm like, for real, dude. I would do. I, need I would like totally do fence. I only need like on the sides because the people that used to live here, they, they have this like it's like a wire fence of sorts. And my little ass Chihuahua Beagle mix can just sneak oh, on yeah. right under. And oh, yeah. So I got all kinds of like random shit strewn across this fence here so she can't get through. Like, so you just need that. You need kids that Van Buren slides fence. and. <laughs> so I want to. But I do want to like a, a nice little like wooden privacy fence too. Um, But just like on the side. So it wouldn't even necessarily be like a full mm-hmm. thing. Dude. I, make... <clears throat> yeah, I want a composite deck. I'll come. Oh, you don't and I need, you don't the I need a, um, <laughs> a nice gate that'll because I can't the gate the gate that I have here for the chain link fence that I got um, I, I can't fit my rider mower so I have oh, to shit. unlatch the fucking stupid ass uh, <laughs> wire fence and then go around I and do it that way which sucks so that's awful yeah, yeah it sucks you need one of those like gate entrances that my old place I had in Florida that I rented the house from. The guy had like a fence where like it, the door was so big, the door sagged, so he put like a tractor tire, so it roll with the gate. It's pretty badass. Ain't gonna lie. I didn't use it much because the wasp loved to go over there. But oh no, that's my biggest fear in life. A lady um, uh, that lives like three houses from me. She got the um, it's like the white like plastic fencing um, around her house, and I like the price that she told me that that she got that done for was like mind boggling. Yeah, so I don't even. I can't even imagine what wood would be. Well, wood like six grand wood's for that, right? Probably a little bit less expensive than the vinyl. Really? Oh, yeah. that's good then, because I, because that shit, it looks like it's just gonna blow away with the winds we get out here. Yeah, like, I it's don't that, do... like flimsy, like white plastic. Yeah, I wouldn't. Want I don't that. do the vinyl like PVC. Either. I don't do those fences. I, yeah, I don't like I working like... with that material, and I don't trust them. Yeah, so that's that's the big. Um, and I need a my um kitchen the uh the, the porch door i want that replaced so that's those are the two big big ticket items for this place i'll be out there in may dude maybe we can maybe we can work on something for a day or two i have to man that's that's my big plan at least the at least the fence but yeah i'll uh i'll keep that in mind but um yeah dude i, I think what's uh what's your long-term goals i guess with this new endeavor I, d- I think uh, my wife and I were talking about it the other day. I think what I'm going to do is 
probably do this for, you know, five to ten years. Um, it's very lucrative. It's I, it's a it's a good, it's a good living, um, and by the hour, basically, it's a it, it it works out really nice. But um, you know, I think in five to ten years, I'll have enough clients and money, hopefully, to um, hire people to work for me. And, and then I think I, you know, getting familiar with all the local houses and, and people that live in this general neighborhood, um, might do something with like realty, um, you know, get my real estate license and go work for a firm or something. And I think it would be advantageous to, you know, Hey, I know these people that live on this street. I've been in this house. I know how the things work. Like, this is what's good. This is what's bad. Um, and, you know, put my skills to the test in that department. And uh, we'll see, though. Who knows, man? My life's been a lot of ups and downs and all over the yeah. place. So I'm just fucking riding the wave. The only negative to this, and it's really only negative for me, is you being in the golf business gave all of your friends back here in Ohio the small glimmer of hope that you could possibly come back you know, this way and, and um, come back to your roots. But, um, you know, now it's, it seems to be, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a small flicker, but it's definitely less. There always than it was. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> than uh, it was now, but yeah, that's great, man. I, I, like I said, um, I know it sucked, you know, as a, as a friend to, you know, to, uh, with the, with the, the work schedule you had. So I can't imagine what it was like, you know, for the wife and, and daughter. So I'm sure they're ecstatic, you know, see a lot more of you. Or maybe after a while they're like, fuck, go back to golf. We're oh, tired, yeah, of, we're tired of, of seeing you. I'll just go play <laughs> golf at that point. That's probably a little bit of both. <laughs> uh, but no, man, that's what's up. Hopefully uh, you keep going, man. And whenever – I'm going to need some handy mat merch whenever that is ever a, a thing. Yeah, working on that right you know? now. Yeah. You got the like the, the Drew Carey-esque logo. I love it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Shout out to my neighbor so, Marsha who created that for me. Do a trade because Delo's working on some some merch as well, off his famous line "Go home or go home." There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, man. So I told him he needs to put like the TSP logo like on the back, like back on yoke. the neck, maybe yeah, or something. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, so a little, a little trade ski, but yeah, man, we had to get the little update. Um. And then, uh, yeah, the other thing is, you got these luscious locks now, man. For a, for a long time, you were you buzz cut Billy, but now you got these uh, <laughs> these locks, man. What? Uh, yeah, man. Grow the hair out. Um, I don't know. I just, I this is gonna sound so stupid, but I just didn't want to pay for a haircut, and okay. <laughs> I also didn't want to cut my own hair and i was like well let me just let me just grow it out a little bit and so the last haircut i had was um i bit the bullet and i was like i just need it trimmed up a little bit and that was in june of 2023 so um we're seven eight you know nine months down the road i've got long ass hair and i'm like might as well just keep rocking with it it's kind of cool too. My, my daughter loves it. She's she's like, she'll like play with it and try to braid it and shit. And like they, my, my wife and her gave me pigtails and braids last night. (laughs) So, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think at this point I'm like, maybe I'll just grow it 16 inches long and donate it or something. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, Oh, there you go. Get you that that Drake hair. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it though. I I it's something. So all together, how long did it take to get to that length? You think a year, like a year, and maybe a month, like yeah, like thirteen, fourteen months. Ain't bad. Yeah, That's one small, happened. one small cut was... in between. Yeah, once some my of that... hair gets a little bit longer than what it is now. What your hair looks like is what I picture in my mind. Like I got a fucking haircut. It's just fucking <laughs> down to my shoulders. Or really, it's not. But uh, I did have to. I did have to suck it up for like a solid month, 
it looked so bad where it was you know what i mean like it was yeah little too like but then it finally settled down and kind of not that it fucking looks good now but it's just <laughs> it's uh it's something different man i'm always trying to i don't know man i could see you slicking it back ponying it up Maybe even a little man bun action with that uh, worker's belt. I got my <laughs> locked and loaded. I'm, I'm ready to go. I got the. I got it all, man. Done it all. Fuck yeah! All right. Um. So, guys, I'm gonna make a proclamation. I already told. I talked to Matt about it. I want to see where you're at here. I don't see if you're a real one or not. Because to 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 Bob Hall Jr. here. You are not a real one if you don't have at least three to five souvenir cups in your cupboard today. Yeah, I think I have three to five Browns game souvenir cups. Oh, <laughs> I got a Cavaliers one. I got a uh, a Disney on Ice, a couple of Disney on Ice ones. I have nice. one from the smoke shop that I got down the road. You're a real one. You know what Monkey I mean? I got this, probably I got one of my favorite walleye. Yeah, the smoke shop. Yeah, the smoke, the monkey smoke shop one. It's a clear okay. cup, little little like smoky tint to it. No pun intended. But when you put when it re, it reacts to cold, so like when you pour something in it, it turns green. Oh, nice. So it's pretty dope. Yeah, I just I was just thinking about it because I was looking. I was in the cupboard. Just I noticed that you know we had I think just about that like three or four souvenir cups, a couple of walleye. I got a SmackDown cup, Cleveland Browns cup. And then growing up, my parents, we had we had it all. We even had because back in the day, if you got like a large Coke or something at McDonald's, it was a little bit of a of a stronger plastic. We had some fucking McDonald's cups, mm -hmm. all kind yeah. of shit. You know what I mean? I mean, I it worked a, uh... great. You you washed them. You, it's just you know, oh yeah. Where why not? So almost like, think, like a, uh, it's almost like a collectible. Yeah, anyway. I mean the ones that, like the certain ones like specific like Browns because I think it has like Nick Chubb on there like yeah I'm keeping that SmackDown's got all the wrestlers like mm -hmm. some of them you buy like like our our souvenir cups but like walleye you're paying ten eleven dollars for the beer you might as well keep the fucking cup because they're, they're pretty nice you know what I mean good water I run, those, I run those to the dishwasher like everything's still like the the art and everything's still on there good like it's not chipping off or anything like that so. Yeah, um, it yeah, definitely cool, lasts man. about five yeah. years at least. Plus, they're just they're, they're all, always the perfect size, man. Like that thirty was it like thirty two ounce or something like that. Like and once you get from the theater, you're already paying seven bucks for the drink, anyways. For a medium, as we'll get the large for the collectible. Yeah, I'm assuming just like um, you know, everyone at least me you gotta have that that bag with the your your fast <laughs> food sauces. <laughs> I ain't throwing Big those away. Biggest sauces. I got a Raisin Cane's one back when Post Malone had his special edition cup. Nice. There it is. Yeah, we used to we used to keep them all, man. If they were like a nice plastic cup, we my my parents kept them shits for sure. In McDonald's, didn't they uh, have a an era in time where they were giving out like those Coca Cola glasses? Yeah, all of them play like BK. Yeah, we I think my parents have like a BK. Um, I think it was like Flintstones mug. Wow, they used to give you yeah, all that kind of shit. Yeah, I back, wish I had it back cup. when you know they weren't charging an arm and a leg. This next topic I got done doesn't mean jack shit to you. We've come to learn, but uh, Taco Bell dropped the new Cantina <laughs> chicken menu, and um, you know I I wanted to give it a shot, um, because why not? You know what I mean? They they've dropped a, a bunch of new shit so far this year. Everything they rolled out at the top of the year was was fire. I told them after, you know, being named fuck of the year in 2023, they turned around and dropped all these three dollar or under items, and they were all great. I mean, Matt, me, and you talk about the stacker every other week at minimum. You know, that's just a game changer. So they come out with this cantina chicken menu, and everything looked legit. I think it's a new taco, new burrito, new quesadilla, and then like a bowl or some shit. I go to check it out, see how much it is. And um, I mean, we're looking at a uh, quesadilla that's almost eight dollars, a burrito that's over seven dollars, the taco. You because you tried it the other day, Dylan, when you completely lost your shit on me and Joe for whatever reason. And um, you said you're. I told you to try the Cantina chicken taco, so you got it. That thing's almost yeah. four dollars. I know it's kind of different from place to place, 
usually varies, you know, maybe between like 50 to 75 cents. So maybe it could be cheaper your way. Who knows? But out here, it's like 350 a taco, 719 for the burrito, and then like 769 or some shit for the quesadilla. You try the taco. I mean, can you tell the difference? Is it like the chicken, like some top of line shit, I guess, for fast food or? <coughs> I mean, it, was, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. It, worth the, 350 uh, I don't know if it's worth 350 I would definitely. Because I've always it. known you as the guy that, like, you know, you don't necessarily pinch pennies, but, like, you, if you're going to pay, you know, premium price or something, like, it better be fucking legit. So. Yeah, I don't know if it would be worth four dollars. Like, I don't think it was worth four dollars because, at least the ones that I got, it was almost like the, I don't know, because I got the crispy. Yeah, you can get it in different styles. You can get like a crispy taco. You can get a soft taco. You can get it in like a burrito form. And uh, that's what I was gonna ask. Is it a different type of shell too? Yeah, you can get it in different type of shells. I got the crispy one, but it it almost how like the texture of the outside shell was almost like a, you know, like when you microwave shredded cheese. And like it kind of gets like that chip texture, mm-hmm. like so a hard chip. That's kind of like how it was. Like chalupa. Kinda. I'm sure they bloated it up with cheese first, and they pressed it down with their toaster or whatever, and it kind of got crispy in that way. So, other than that, I mean, it wasn't too, it wasn't too bad. I'd probably prefer like a normal like locos taco over it. Like it's nothing like go out of your way for. It'd probably and be those like are probably are those probably almost three bucks. I, I would guess these days. Yeah, man. Yeah, but but that, at least that new. New sauce, they have, though. New sauce they have is pretty good. Um, very slight kick, but it has like the nice guac flavor. It's their new guac, uh, it's a guacamole spice. Avocado, or, I think it's avocado, avocado yeah. verde. Avocado verde, yep. It's really it's good stuff. Yeah, I do want to try that. And I, I might try a taco or something, but we were, I was because me and Matt had a little FaceTime before uh, we hopped on here, and we we're just talking about how, um, and Dylan, you know, I, I'm an app. We've been talking about apps this whole season. How you know, I'm an app boy. Kind of got you on there, at least for McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about how McDonald's has like the perfect app setup as far as interface. And then you got phenomenal deals. I mean, you can rack up the the points with the points and rewards, baby. And I mean, um, Taco Bell. I, I've looked on there. You can. There are like a reward system and shit like that. But I don't see anything with like coupons or nothing like that. You know what I mean? They could really change the game, especially with a new rollout. Drop a couple coupons, like try our, uh, you know, the new Cantina Chicken Tacos, two for fucking whatever, six dollars or some shit, um, or whatever. And then you know that would kind of, uh, you know, kind of entice me a little bit to to give it a shot. But um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm gonna. I definitely like the quesadilla and all that shit. There's no fucking chance I'm spending eight dollars on it. On that quesadilla, because I, I know, I mean, they can call that chicken whatever the fuck they want to call it. I, I know it's not gonna be like anything special. And then what <laughs> you just said, I mean, sounds like it's it's good and all, but it ain't four dollars good. No, yeah, like I like. I mean, the, that fucking um, crispy chicken empanada. That bitch was almost four dollars, but I would pay. I would shell out the money for that because that shit was mm-hmm. a game changer, phenomenal. Yeah, I don't know if you had and any of those. Those are already you- gone. The, the spicy uh, potato burritos, but those are pretty damn good too. It's on their spicy three dollar value menu. I know, oh, that's, I know they have the tacos. Taco? I don't know they have the, the burrito? burritos. Yeah, it's a, it's uh maybe it's a taco. I don't know. It was on, it was like a soft wrap, so it was it was small because it was on their value menu. So I got a couple of those. But if you ever yeah, get the to their value menu, it's it's on it's, it's a spicy potato burrito, and uh, those are pretty good. <laughs> like three bites. So you're talking to a couple OGs here, man. A couple OGs. It's a well, spicy talking to the soft taco, my friend. I'm talking well, that, to the that <laughs> one. But two, I've been I've been eating those things since they were fucking because them bitches used to be like eighty nine cents. They were ninety nine cents. Yeah, in, in 2014, dude, I used to get. But they're for not. I mean, because the, the, the cube potatoes I got are great, like the seasoned potatoes. Yeah, it comes what, with that sauce. They're great. That's yeah, sauce, I agree. Yeah, so good. I usually I usually grab up, you know, yeah, one or two of those for sure. Yeah, it was but, better than the crispy catina for sure. Uh, yeah, um, can't go wrong with the Supreme Crunch Wrap though. Oh, true, but I pay ten bucks. Yeah, for that. it's just Taco <laughs> Bell, man. They they took one step, and then now I feel with this new menu, they just took ten steps back because it's just ridiculous, dude. And, I, and definitely sticker um, shock. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, no good. 
it's just too much, man. I think what hurts the most is if it was just some other place that didn't used to have like the the best value menu in the game, the one that you could rely on to go spend five dollars and, and get full off of to now what they're doing today, it'd be a little different. But Taco Bell was that one you could lean on, man. Got me three through in the fucking morning. You got times. five bucks. You're gonna have a feast. <laughs> Dude. And now it's just like five bucks. You can't even get, you probably can't even get the crunch wrap for five bucks. No. Sad. Sad state of affairs. Whichever I that's what I'm saying. I need somebody just talk to these presidential candidates. Whichever one will come out and say they're gonna lower Taco Bell prices, <laughs> they got my vote off that immediately. Alone. Single issue yeah. voter. Doesn't matter who it is. Robert Kennedy, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> um anyways Dilo, you remember um we talked about it earlier this season um costco you know for the first time ever added a new addition to their food court menu it was like a roast beef sandwich but it was like 10 bucks i tried mm -hmm. it wasn't blown away by any means especially because it was like 10 bucks wasn't a whole lot going on there well that's already gone and i don't know if i might be a couple weeks late but i went to costco yesterday with jacks and they had, they had two new items. One of them, it was a, a, a turkey like club kind of sandwich for like six ninety nine. So they kind of changed the whole thing around on that whole new different sandwich. Didn't try that because I we had just eaten breakfast like I don't know, a couple hours before I was still full. Um, but Jack's, it's like anytime we go to Costco, you, it's a hundred percent must. He's got to be leaving with a slice of that pepperoni pizza, or you're gonna be in for a fucking shit day with that kid. <laughs> <laughs> so um and i i respect it he houses one of them big ass pieces of pizza so it's definitely a spectacle to watch got a boy five-year-old but um so we got a slice of that pizza and then i seen they had this double chocolate chunk cookie um that's that's you know chocolate chip cookie that's me that's my favorite style it was 249 so you know it's a little little hefty on the price tag there for cookie but when i got it i mean it had some girth to it had some weight to it huge and she was thick three c's served warm off rip so as soon as i felt that shit and i felt it was warm i was like all right i already know this is gonna be a banger and sure enough it was dude mm. that cookie is so fucking delectable it's great i want everyone to go out and try one as soon as humanly possible i gave it an 8.7 out of 10 8.7 out of 10 the only thing that's really knocking it all is just it's a little heftier on the price side but uh, like I said, you, you get that bitch warm. So I think it must sit under one of those like lights or some shit. Um, it's great. It, it, it reminded me, it's like three of those Lake High School cafeteria cookies if just pressed down together. Like it's she's a thick baby. Wow. And um you just take a bite out of them, them chocolate chunks just fucking they're they're, they're melted. Oh my god. Oh man, I was just missing some milk. That's all I was missing, but What's phenomenal addition. 8.7 out of 10, man. That's a ba -ba -ba boom it is. <laughs> There it is, baby. I'm a Costco guy. I'm a Costco kid. <laughs> you got to try it, dude. I don't know. Dylan, you got a Costco by you? Uh, it'd be a trip. I think you got to drive to Kentucky for that. Sam's Club might be a little bit closer. That doesn't help you here. <laughs> Whenever you're inside of a Costco, you gotta try that shit, dude. If I do have now. a Sam's Club, I should just, like you said, pre-production. I'm a Sam's Club guy. Yeah, I, I, I I guess, laugh, there's though, your man. video, dude. We'll, we'll throw it up on our on our TikTok. You're the my, trend my guy now. Explode, and then you'll, <laughs> you, you'll fucking <laughs> be beefing with a 11 year old. Fuck, fuck, Sam's Club guy. We're Costco guys. <laughs> I'm going to jam a chicken bake up your ass. <laughs> um, I do got another review, too, before we jump in the mill. Um, we talked about it last week. Little Caesars dropped their crazy puffs. That was their newest thing. Um, you know, all the people that I watched, you know, food reviews online were just raving about it. So finally tried them out. Dude, they live up to the fucking hype, dude. They're these, they're, they get four of these, and they're just these little bite-sized, like, pizza cups stuffed with cheese and pepperoni. It's got this like garlic sauce on top. I gave those an eight point two out of ten. Do they are wow. fire, dude? You get four of them, for four bucks. 
Wow. I had I had a couple of those alongside their their Detroit style pepperoni that is always always banging. Those look um, great. But uh, yeah, man, it the I, for once, you know, everything. Well, one thing that people were up in arms about lived up to the hype, dude. I, I had those, and um, I don't know when we'll try them again because here in Genoa, we got the Marcos in town. If we had a a little Caesars nearby. You know, they'd be in rotation, you know, more. But I think the closest one we got is probably about 20 minutes away, like over there off of uh, Star Avenue. So if you can drive five minutes this way to get what is, you know, arguably the best chain pizza, you're going to do it. But every once in a while, you know, I'll make the little extra trip to go to to grab LC's, you know. But that's another one I recommend trying out. Um what about Little Caesars, Dylan? You got Little Caesars uh, anywhere nearby? Right next to the Taco Bell. There it is. Oh, I didn't even shit. know it until I was pulling into the drive-thru. I was like, whoa. Could have done that, but I already had my heart set on some tacos. Hey, I, I feel you, man. That's just how it goes. Um, But I think that's pretty much all I got for uh, topics outside of the mill. So, D'Lo, let's jump in the mill <laughs> let's go don't hurt yourself now you just you forgot one thing though i know joey ain't here but you still gotta finish it off with the signature there it is baby boom <sighs> get too old for this you know what time it is it's time for around the mill edition 172 we got a few topics here um we were talking about uh sports betting and i'm up and stuff and hitting parlays and all that fun stuff but there's one individual out there that hit his parlay in college basketball round one turned two dollars into fifteen hundred dollars all for naught because FanDuel emailed him and sent him a nice little note saying that the state of Louisiana <laughs> is going to be garnishing most of that winnings to, I guess, back pay some child support that he is behind on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, nice hit in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can you imagine just the thrill of that and then finding out, looking in your bank account and like you're back to like, what, 50 bucks maybe or something like that. It might have took all of it for all I know, but I thought that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, in other news, Grand Theft Auto 6 is looking to be uh, pushed back until possibly 2026. Um, I could be wrong, but maybe we do have a little article here. Something about uh, production being behind. Yeah, not not great news, man. I I seen that. And who knows? Because any more of this shit, you don't know who to believe. But this dropped on a an account that usually is you know pretty got pretty legit info. Said that um, GTA Six might be delayed until twenty twenty six now, which I don't know. Production reportedly is falling back. And that sucks, man. I mean, twenty twenty five was already too long. I mean, goddamn. But now Is we're talking maybe twenty twenty six. That showed their dick and quickly zipped up their pants. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean that's the thing too. Like they were able to put together. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. We keep talking about it, but you gotta be like Drake, man. Let that shit fucking flail around. Show the world. Show the world. Damn. You gotta fucking. 15 inch fucking hammer. Yeah, because yeah, you already know there's gonna be like 50 fucking, fucking updates after it showed us their anyways. cock, dude, and then put it right put it right away. But yeah, they dropped yeah. that trailer two months ago. I mean, fully in depth. It was like I mean, everyone thought like finally we're on the road to GTA six. And it says could be. So hopefully maybe they can get their shit together. I need I think these fuckers need to work some some OT weekends. Let's get back on track here. If I was Rockstar, I'd be, you know, letting these guys know. Let's get the shit in gear. Under promise and over deliver, man. That's what we're hoping for. Because now the thing is anymore, you'll see like on TikTok or 
Twitter, any of this shit, like somebody will do something and we'll say, Oh man, we got such and such before GTA six. <laughs> it's always funny every time. But yeah, man, that was a bummer, dude. Yeah. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how, how legitimate this Otaku or Kotaku uh source is. Or maybe Rockstar is putting legit. that shit out there to then just fucking hit it, hit us over the head with the game on time. I don't fucking know, but All right, that would be my guess. But yeah, as big as it's supposed to be, I mean, they also had like what ten plus years to work on this thing. So uh, twenty twelve was when five dropped. So yeah, plenty twelve years, and now it'll be almost fifteen years if if it goes to twenty six. <laughs> that's pretty well hey at least we'll have ncaa hopefully i didn't want to i didn't want to put that out in the in the hemisphere you know at least yeah at least they uh they haven't they've already pushed it back once they push it back again then we have some questions so i mean we've already waited uh their push july is almost july is what a little over three months away and we don't actually even have a release day yet do we um I don't think there's an official date. Like it's yeah, still rumored like, July 12th, but you would expect it to drop before this the college season in August. So I would, uh, I think they 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 definitely confirmed it's coming back officially through a little teaser um, commercial there or advertising, whatever you call it, but trailer. Yeah. What I was looking for, but I don't think they have an official gameplay trailer yet. That said, that is coming soon. So I would I would probably expect that sometime in May if I were to guess. Or May or yeah June, sometimes yeah. Those two games, like the NCAA and this and GTA, here, these are the only two games that's gonna like bring me back into like nonstop playing nonstop. No doubt about it. In other news, we have an, uh, a full eclipse coming. I'm not sure if you're gonna get it in your neck of the woods over there in New Hampshire, but uh, it's supposed to be a big tourist attraction there in in Ohio. Yeah, for man. A full- for a full eclipse. Yeah, so yeah. it's going right over uh about 30 minutes from my in-laws house up in uh up in Henniker, New Hampshire. So No, oh, nice. We're nice. not going to we're not going to be uh up there unfortunately. What is it on the 6th or the 5th of April? The 8th. The 8th. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and... they cancel all around here like everyone <laughs> schools canceled all that shit. I took that day off because that weekend is WrestleMania. So uh, <laughs> I already had it off. So I bought they're they're like cheap as fuck. Them eclipse glasses are like a buck each. So I bought us four pairs because I guess Northwest Ohio is like in the absolute fucking like zone. It's awesome. They're like the news is talking about I guess traffic's gonna be just nuts. Uh even my work, they're talking about starting like an hour or two early because I mean tourists are gonna be yeah. nuts that weekend. So um because everyone's gonna be coming. Because I guess we're like we're right in the thick of it, apparently. So, yep, it'll be interesting to see. It's like every forty something years, I think, or something, sixty, something like that. Yeah, they had a uh, fucking us asking at work, like customers, like if they're even going to be open for the the eclipse or not. And like, yeah, it's surprisingly, it's, it's like fifty fifty. Yeah. I know my daughter's off of school for the eclipse and all that every, shit. So every time I, <laughs> every time I. uh hear of an eclipse of some sort i think about when donald trump looked directly at the sun oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah like you shouldn't do that sir but in honor of the full solar eclipse here uh sonic is coming out with a new drink blackout slushy so there's that uh you can okay. also save up to 300 dollars a year on your verizon mobile at yeah. home all right um, <laughs> Sonic to celebrate upcoming eclipse with a blackout slush float. That's gonna turn your shit black, hundred percent. I already yeah. can tell. Tell me that's not black licorice flavored. I know. It's, remember, I remember the uh, it is. what was that Whopper? The Angry Whopper it had like a black bun, and people were like shitting black, purple. Green, <laughs> purple. I don't know if you it's have like too much of a Halloween, Halloween <laughs> or whatever. What is, have, is it blue or or purple that turns your poop green? Blue. Anytime I blue? drink like a blue Gatorade or blue <laughs> Pari, and I'm, yeah, I'm shitting green for a couple days. Fucking alien turds. 
But yeah, Sonic, uh, if you have Sonic by you, uh, go check out the new uh, Black. Is there, does it oh. describe the flavor at all? Oh, uh, let me see here. Uh, Blackout slush float, consume, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a sweet cotton candy and dragon fruit flavor, huh? Whoa. Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah, each bridge just comes with Eclipse viewing glasses. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. Go get you some. Go get you some. I don't have a Sonic by me, I don't think. Look at uh, Frankie, Frankie C- Kata. Got the Fias over there to the right. Let's check her out. She's got is that a Greek one. name? Frankie hmm. Catafias. Yeah. I don't wish, know, but it's supposed to be a beautiful day. Our, our Greek on, he'd be able to answer that for us. But <laughs> anyway, as uh, yeah, um, I I had no plans to check it out, but since I'll be everyone's gonna be off home, and we're gonna be right here in the in the fucking main, like I guess the best seat in the house. You know, we'll uh, we'll see what we see. Probably end up being like cloudy or some shit that day. Just get your glasses ready. Get your glasses on. Yep. Yeah. What are they like? Three D glasses or something? <laughs> they look like. Yeah. They're like yeah. little plastic flimsy. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta. Find you can, you can reach out at it. <laughs> yeah. Let's. Uh. Yeah. I could probably pull those up real quick. Ten Let's packs. They look like three D glasses. Yeah. They're cheap. You can get them really cheap. Like three bucks at Meyer. Or something like that. They sell yeah, them by the even. cash out. How about like sunglasses? Them, like a buck a piece. Would that work? No. Unless they're Ray Bans. Maybe get some Ray Bans on you. People are selling. Yeah, I said they come in fucking pack, but here we go. <laughs> All right. Maybe yeah, we can look at these real quick. Eclipse glasses. So, that's <laughs> going on. <laughs> 260 bucks. Oh, Man. some fucking clown. Oh, just, those. Yeah, look at them. Oh, looks my like God. Look at that guy in the first row here. He looks like the fucking guy from Star Trek, LeVar Burton. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess he's the second row. Uh, two to the yeah, right there. Fucking Lavar Burton over there. <laughs> okay, yeah, dude. Wait, yeah, I gotta get you some, or you can even make your own out of paper. Burton plate. was in Star Trek. Yeah. Whoa. He's the dude that had the reading rainbow. Look it up right dude? now. Um, yeah, he is right now. Put Lavar Burton Star Trek Dylan in your Google search. Whoa. As soon as you see him, yeah, I know it's gonna be a tough, tough uh, job for you there. I can spell it out for you. I'm not, I'm not. Oh man, you almost got me canceled. What? <laughs> said... You almost got me canceled. What, what are you saying? Whoa, name? to the glasses, Lavar. Yeah. Whoa, ball, Burton, Burton, Star Trek. Okay, well, right here. Yeah, oh my god, dude, that's incredible. <laughs> I didn't know that was all, man. OG. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> that shit was. Look at this. Oh, man. yeah. I'm about to get a pair of those for the Eclipse. A pair of these. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Probably see all kinds of shit. <laughs> In other news, um, it was actually, I believe it might have been broken by. Uh, 92.3 The Fan in Cleveland in an interview, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, there's a uh, another uh, a sequel, another sequel coming out. Because you have other ideas. But another news. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Happy Gilmore 2 is officially moving forward with Adam Sandler at Netflix. Just zero originality in, in the movie business anymore, man. It's sad. I hope this is a joke, dude, because no one it's asked not. for that. Nobody asked for that. Not this far. Maybe like 20 years ago, maybe. But I have not a different now, opinion. Dude. I feel like it's, I don't know. I feel like I would be excited to watch that. Chris oh, Campbell, Donald, fucking Shooter it. McGavin. It can't, 
Yeah, definitely. Can't be as bad as Anchorman, too. It's Christ- Christopher McDonald. It's got a chance to. He confirmed it. That's Shooter McGavin for you. But is it going to be a boom or is it going to be a doom? Boom, boom, boom. That's a ba 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 boom. <laughs> the uh, wait, have you seen the uh, not to get off topic here? Sorry. Have you seen Leo, Adam Sandler's animated movie? I have not. You need to watch it immediately. I'll have to do it tonight. It's fantastic. What's it on? Is it fun? It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's a it's not a kids movie, but it's it's. <laughs> Is it better than Eight Crazy Nights? No. Is it better than Sausage Party? Never seen Sausage Party. Really? Either yeah, I haven't either. Is it is nice. Sausage Party good? I don't know if it's good. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I've seen some Bukaki vids, but it's funny, yeah. It, it's 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 funny. It's, it's dirty humor, definitely not a kid's cartoon. Yeah, Leo uh, has like Seth Rogen in it, and uh, I don't know if Adam Sandler's in it, but it's just it's a classic. Uh, it's Bill Burr and Adam Sandler, and they're like class pets, and it's I don't know. It's just a really solid watch. It's pretty pretty, fu- pretty funny for a if I would say it's like a PG rated movie probably but the kids would definitely like it but give it a give it a whirl highly recommended all right leo leo you gaga <laughs> <laughs> and round it all off Kendrick Lamar came out of hiatus to lay some bars Kendrick yeah. Labars? <laughs> Bobby? I uh, don't want to get copyrighted here, so I can't play it. You were uh you you know you know more than I do on the on the situation and then the in the, the beef. I told you to listen to it before we got on here, but I did. You did. But okay. You 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 probably have more background in why there is a track to be dissing. Mm-hmm. In the first place, so um, well, first and foremost, Future Metro Boomin dropped uh, the first of their two collaborative albums. We don't trust you on Friday. Uh, great album, um, Metro Boomin. Uh, he it, just the the beats that he produced on there are just otherworldly. Future was doing his thing, and uh, I don't know. It, it seems to be a thing now where these artists will drop albums and does not list any of the features, so you don't know who's on what. Any of that shit. So, um, you get into the track like that, and uh, all of a sudden, out of the blue, you get Kendrick, and everyone's excited. And all of a sudden, he's just firing off all kinds of shots. Um, and just people knew exactly who they were talking about just because he brings up, uh, he talks about First Person Shooter, which was a joint song that Drake and uh, J. Cole released last year. Um, and one of the things J. Cole said on it was, uh, love when they argue who the hard uh, love when they argue the hardest MC is it K dot is it Aubrey or me we the big three like we started a league and the one line that uh, Kendrick started off with was he said motherfuck the big three uh, it's just big me um, so I don't know there people are making up all kinds of different I uh, you know um, thoughts and ideas of where this kind of all you know sprouted up from because. Drake and Future have collabed so many times through the years. Obviously, J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar right. have always done a lot of stuff together. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, Kendrick came out. Obviously, everyone loves when Kendrick comes and raps because it's very, very sparingly. But he took this opportunity to uh, take some shots. And, and obviously, um, Future's in there in the mix now because that was his song. So, people, I already seen the poster. I should see if I can pull it up. Um, like the movie uh, uh, Marvel, uh, the Civil War movie. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Frank. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see how long the um, the uh, turnaround is for like their responses and shit. There was some video and stuff that dropped that. Uh... Let me see if I can get this here. Sorry. <laughs> Getting this link. 
that showed uh J- just Drake like looking in his phone and then he left whatever club he was at um with some like wired headphones in and shit so people think he's like already dialed in ready to come back with some some heat then I just posted the uh, the link on there you'll see it's got the pretty funny little picture on there at the top so it kind of takes from uh The show, but yeah, basically, like the Marvel Civil War, like you're gonna have all these big, big time artists pitted against each other, and um, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out, man. Travis Scott, um, <laughs> Michael Jackson, yeah, I'm not sure about one future for some reason. DJ Academics is on there, but yeah, Drake, Kendrick. <laughs> But people are like telling Drake to like bow out of this, like he can't rap. It's like, dude, I mean, he had that whole ghostwriting thing the one time, so that's what people are gonna run with forever. But Drake can fucking rap, and I mean, everyone knows. Obviously, I, I think a lot of people would have would say that Pusha T maybe won their little beef, you know, three four years ago. But Drake came out with Duppy Freestyle, and and it was he 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 uh you know threw some some haymakers, man. So Drake doesn't fuck around, obviously. Drake and J. Cole versus Kendrick. I mean, that's just that's a hell of a matchup right there. So a lot of people are excited because that just means we're gonna get some more high level raps in the future. Uh, win no win. Um, but uh yeah, man, that was the big news that, that came out since Friday. But the album itself is fire. So if you remotely like future or any of that, you know, more high tempo type shit. Um, I definitely recommend you go check it out because it's it's really good. I like it a lot. And they have another album coming out together, him and Metro Boomin, in a couple weeks. So that would be great to hear what else they drop. Bang, bang. Singing it and slinging it. See where it goes. Yeah. Yeah, Drake, we know. I think we know it's right. If they did a dick measuring contest, Drake's going to maybe take that one. But who knows? With J. Cole and Kendrick, they might also be wheeled in meat. So... <laughs> I know I wouldn't want to be in that contest with those guys. Nah. I right, don't. Yeah. Not interested. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> looks like my dick would look like an AirPods case next to their shit. <laughs> Pez wrapper. Pez <laughs> wrapper. In length or thick? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's already Young Pez. <laughs> yeah. That's God. That's funny as fuck. But yeah, so that, that wraps rounds up the mill then. Okay. That wraps it up. Um for this week's TSP tiers, you know, uh audio listeners, probably the time to bow out. Uh YouTube watchers, we're gonna be doing um we were gonna do a cheese tier, but I think I found one that said it's like best um like cheese products. So it's gonna have um different types of cheese in there, and then like your your chips, crackers, all that stuff. Uh, included as well so we'll tear those i think we gotta add a couple as well so i was looking through it i don't see mod sticks no so that's gotta immediately be added to the mix if we're going you know with best cheese products all right boys so here's what we're gonna do uh we're gonna do the quintessential cheese slash cheese snack list um as you can see here we got a little bit of everything you got your your snacks uh types of cheeses uh, i think it's gonna be a great mix so actually it looks like we have two of the same thing. There's like two different cheese whizzes when I see the easy cheese, but we'll uh, we'll handle that on the way. So as always, you got the S to F tier. Um and away we go. So first off, on what I see here is the baby bell little mini cheeses. Those are always a pretty good snack. I'd probably throw that in like a B. They're just these little, you know, mini wheels of cheese you can just pop in. I don't eat those a ton, but uh, I don't hate. I'm not really gonna hate anything on here for the most part. But no, nope. um, we'll carry on. <laughs> cheese balls. If you ask, uh, you know, my kids, that'd probably be an S tier thing. But I don't know. That can probably live in like A. Cheese balls. You can just, you know, thousands all day. Um, I'm a. I would put them in a B range. I think. I mean, okay, that's fair. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the grand scheme, they're listen. That's fair. I, I like the F tier cheese full length are... puff myself. Yeah. But um, do you, do you just stick them as far down as you can. 
Swallow them whole. Yes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm damn good. <laughs> um, next up, we got uh, we got a, some blue cheese. This uh, this was an acquired taste for me. I, I did not fuck with blue cheese for the longest, but now actually, just this past Friday, I ordered uh, Red Robin and got a blue cheeseburger with bacon, and it was dynamite, dude. Blue cheese crumbles. Um, and then now when I get wings and stuff, I'll usually get a ranch and a blue cheese cup. So I would put blue cheese as a B, but I see Matt's not a fan. Dylan, I don't know where you stand. A C. Blue cheese. Okay. A, D, a C I'll at best. It. Then I'll, I'll go with C. Okay. Now we get into some of the fancier stuff. Brie. Brie cheese. These are, these are kind of your charcuterie kind of number board items coming up here. Charcuterie cheese, but probably a B or a C tier. You're not just eating brie cheese. You gotta have it on a charcuterie. Yeah. You gotta have it on something. Probably C. Yeah. No offense to the to the brie. Hardly newer. No, the- I've never had this. At least my knowledge, man. I know you have. You're familiar with this. You said Camembert. Yeah, it's. Oh, I said Carhartt. <laughs> <What's> the- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Carhartt cheese. Yeah. I mean, it's same thing. It or it keeps you warm in the winter, whatever. Probably the B. I don't know. What's I would the put the flavor that profile on that. Is that uh, it's, or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's not like a. It's close to a brie, but a little bit like sharper. Okay. Now here we go. I'm gonna show. I'm a scumbag. Easy cheese as an A for me. I think that little can shit on some crack on some fucking club crackers. That's what that is. Yeah. Probably All right. Let's it. use this picture then. I like hey. that stuff on some grits. Yeah. Just, I would just put that at the at the end then. Get it out of the way. Cheddar? That's an S. S. Cheddar cheese? Come oh, on, baby. Dear, dude. Oh! Ah. Cheese, no, ne- dude, the next three. S tier them all, baby. Cheez Its? Yes, please. Top. Extra toasty? Cheeto? Top. Yes, please. Kojak, oh. goaded. Oh. <laughs> now, cottage cheese is one of those things. I eat it, but I know it's very polarizing. I'd put cottage ah. cheese at like a B level, but I know it's a very polarizing item. Yeah, like I would. D. I can't Objectively. put it all the way there. I'll, 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 I can do a C, but I'm not going to go D on cottage cheese. I don't, I don't hate it like yeah. that. I eat cottage cheese that? like every day, so... And now we're getting back into the fucking bangaroonies, baby. Cheese cream bear. cheese. No. I would I would put cream cheese as an A though. I don't know about what? That. Oh dude. It's so versatile. I know it is. All the best dips? I mean Dips, crock pot recipes. What what's your stance, Dylan? Versatility. And taste. I mean, it's just great. But do you eat it by itself? Fucking could. I mean, it'd be really troubling. <laughs> well, but... <laughs> no, I don't know about all that. It'd be really like dark mayo. time for me. I used to dip those Doritos in cream cheese, dude. Yeah, the Buffalo. I remember the Buffalo Ranch fucking cream cheese. I wish those would come back, dude. Cream. They yeah, need to bring those so back. Thick, so good. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably put it in S. I'll, I'll, probably, yeah. I'll put it in S. Doritos. Doritos. Doritos are A. Doritos are A. Yeah. yeah. You will put cream the, cheese over Doritos? The nacho I, cheese, yeah. I think there's just better variety wow, of Doritos. Wow, that's crazy. Feta. Feta. S. I mean, you know what I'm saying? God damn, that's a goaded nacho <laughs> oh, cheese. Yeah. You know where it's going. To the top. The fountain. Gorgonzola. See, I'm not a big Gorgonzola guy. It's got a strong taste. I'm, I'm, I would too put blue, that in B. Too blue cheesy. It's too. D? Yeah, that's C. fair. C's, C's fine. Fair. You know, C's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm alright with C. Grilled cheese. Grilled I mean, that's no, that's go. S. That could go in S or A. It, you know what I'm saying? Mots S. You know what I mean? These nips F. <laughs> yeah. Fuck cheese nips. D. Parmesan. <laughs> F. F. D. 
Parmesan, I, Parmesan at least I would do a. like a A. Yeah, A or B for Parmesan, I think. Yeah. Queso cheese? A. Same. Yeah. yeah. Ricotta, that's another, there's another one. I like ricotta, you know, on lasagna and shit like that. Some people a. are weird about it. A I would B? put that. B's B? fine. Yeah. B's fine. Is that, I guess, what Roma that? cheese? Roma cheese, yeah. I don't think I've ever had Roma cheese. I mean, either. I think um, I had it at, uh, I think in another Italian type cheese. You get your, like your Roma Parmesan. It'd probably be in the same, same, uh, as Parmesan. Cause you can get uh, like a, Roma Parmesan. A? You're going to put that in A? I don't know. Maybe just leave it down there. Leave it in here? Don't just leave it on the... Yeah, down Yeah. String cheese, cool. B. Nice snack. Swiss. Swiss cheese, B. Whales, F. Fuck whales. I don't even know what whales are. Fuck them. Bigger than fish. Ruffles, cheddar, sour creme. You know where, baby. Munchies. That's got a little bit of everything, see. right? Yeah, just I don't ever, I don't ever get. I mean, it's nice that they have all the best shit mixed in there, but I'm just gonna get those separately. You know what I mean? Cheddar popcorn. That version B. Same with, I think those Ritz Cheddar Crackers, probably B. Mm -hmm. Not sticks. Not sticks. <laughs> Not quick enough. <laughs> the best. Uh, yeah, provolone. Here. Prove. A or B for me. I, I love some Pro-V, baby. Oh, man. At least, yeah, B. What, what we got yeah. here? That's fine. Munster. Right, another B. Monster can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, I, I, so what? What were the names of these? I couldn't remember them. But oh, we lost Matt's me. voice. Hold on a second here. He muted himself. Uh oh, the mod sticks fucking threw him for a loop. I get it. <laughs> Mute, muted on. There he is. <laughs> oh, there he's not. I don't know. What happened? He ripped this well, fucking cable on the mozzarella. There, there we go. Hey. <laughs> Got excited about the mozzarella sticks. There's a mute button on the mic, too. Um, Yeah, I, I don't remember what those are called, but I used to have those packed to my lunches at school a long time, and they were a great snack. Price C? Not enough cheese for the amount of sticks, for True. me at least. Yeah. So, that is actually very true. So C, I'd put that in C. Sun Chips, Harvest Cheddar. A. To this guy. Definitely an A, but... I mean, if we I got mean, ruffles in there and Cheetos and cheeses, we got. I mean, we gotta fit that in there. Now too. it looks mac like you, you you have a picture of the blue box, but this is just mac and cheese in general, right? So that should be yeah, just in general. I mean, mac and cheese is just yeah, beautiful. Oops, I'm grabbing it, grabbing it from the wrong. There we go. And you can put them that white cheddar popcorn up in the ass too. Mm -hmm. Flavor blasted goldfish can be a. Mm -hmm. And I, oh, yeah. those other two could sit there, and this is I mean, that's a great list. Everything is where it should be. You got the absolute goat of goats up in that S tier, dude. Kobe Jack, dude. Every, I, I don't know a person that doesn't have at least a bag of Kobe Jack in their fridge. On deck all the time. I got I got one more. I got one more to add. Okay. I'm Pepper sure Jack. Interested to see what it is. Sure. What hey. we got here? A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some pepper jack. I think, I think um, Yeah, man. Everything is absolutely where it should be. Cheddar. When I when I was doing those I did best chips on the Facebook tournament shit that I used to do. Those ruffles, cheddar, and sour cream were the reigning champs. Have you Des had the Flay the Pot sour. version of those? Yes. The best chip out there, in my opinion. There's not a better chip. Yeah, I like chip. those a lot. There's another one. Um, it has, uh, I think, Jason Tatum on the on the bag. It's like the hot barbecue. Like, yeah, those are really good, too. Yeah. I like those a lot. 
<laughs> LeBron on the on the other one and Jason Tatum on the Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, man. Not too and our uh, final product here. Contentious. Final tier list. Solid. I mean Cheddar, it just everyone loves cheddar. You know what we we should have added is, is American cheese. Now that I'm thinking about it, but because um, you know you have grilled you have grilled cheese on there. Obviously, you know say what you want to say about the processed American cheese, but it's just your burgers, your grilled cheeses. It's just uh, yeah, I'd probably throw that in A. Absolutely, cream cheese. All in all, a great list. Yeah, I mean they're listen. Tough to tear cheese, man. It's just all good. And that's yeah, exactly. And that's why there really is no D. I mean, the only thing we have on an F are these posers down here. That's it. Posers. But at the end of the day, I mean, those aren't the worst. I mean, they're they're edible. You know, they're not bad. But there's just far better versions of of both of those products. And uh, I can't wait at because at some point today I will have. Some sort of cheese. Yeah. And it'll be great. Yep. Absolutely. You know I mean? Um, honestly can't remember the last day that I didn't have cheese in some form or fashion. Or it makes you constipated though, too much. Yeah, I know my limits. Yeah, Absolutely I don't know my limits. I'm immune. Immune? That's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dylan is not. <laughs> I may actually just be lactose intolerant and don't give a shit. That's <laughs> badass. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes I think I am because I, I had a couple cookies and milk last night and I had a shit pretty... Yeah. Not long after that. Yeah. Does it come and with it age or is it hurt? It's not a pretty scene. Probably both, all the above. I'm sure it gets worse as you go along. But if that, I mean, <coughs> put Speaking one in my of... skull if I'm ever <laughs> unable to have cheese anymore. Yeah. No cheese, no ice cream, no I'm... dairy products at all. Bury me alive. I don't. How would you live? function? You couldn't. List, I mean, look at that list we just had. I have to erase all of that? Erase me. <laughs> yeah, they have pills for that shit, dude. Oh, well, like that's powder drink. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, yeah, I, that whatever I have to do. Whatever needs to be done. Yeah. I mean, see, young young Caesar has is lactose intolerant. And like, hey, we get through the whole alphabet or, with no guess, issues. Fuck it, man. I'll just eat dinner on the fucking toilet. <laughs> I gotta, have the I gotta have cheese. You know what I mean? Straight through. You'd be looking like that easy, easy can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> or a fucking, you know, in a geyser. Whatever. Oh, shit. All the above. But, um, <coughs> we'll put a, you know, a cap on episode 172. Matt, thanks for uh, joining us today. Being Thank our, our third, uh, third chair there. You know, talking some shop and uh, catching up and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, man. Hopefully, I didn't. You said something about you're possibly going to be out this way in May. That'd be cool. Hopefully, uh, we can make something happen. Oh yeah, got to definitely. If you have the time, got to do a Frickers trip. You know what I mean? Oh my god! I think that's what we did last time, and it was just oh. divine. Um, so good. Yeah, dude. Uh, I just had Frickers not that long ago. I mean the. Unfortunately, the Bruce City Chili Cheese Fries are like nine bucks now, which is, I mean, that kind of hurt me a little bit, but got to have them. More now. You know what I mean? And the wings are just, you know what it is. <laughs> I, I think about them multiple times a month. So that's, yeah, that'll have to be the move if we can make it happen. Um, we'll have to maybe see if we can get Young Deal to make the trip up north. I, I can you know make a mean? trip up north for some Frickers, some Kino. I don't know if, if you guys have ever met. In person, have you? What, dude? I worked the gas station with the guy. Oh, that's that's right. Right. Jesus that's right. Christ, Bob! That's, that's a long time ago. The seeds, the seeds were planted. He's Got he's cheese on the mind. He and knows. Wings. He knows all about the red high tops. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Ed Turner's. Yeah, you're OG, man. You were you're rocking the red, the red polo. That's that's how you know you're OG because they're oh, yeah. navy blue now. So what? boys. No. Oh yeah, way. they turned. They went navy blue. While, while I was still there. So. No really? way. I don't even remember that. Yeah. God, that that mesh. Oh my God, I remember that. I had two of them. Them yeah. motherfuckers stunk. I couldn't couldn't keep up with them. Couldn't keep up the laundry. But Actually, uh, yeah, man, yeah. we uh, we wish you well, man. Hopefully, the business keeps booming. Like I said, um, whenever we get some some handy mat magnets, stickers, anything uh, of the sort, coffee cup, I, I'm gonna I want to make the purchase, and then you know, like I said, whenever D'Lo gets these uh, the go home or go homes rolling, we'll uh, boom, sign baby. me up. See, Dylan, I, you're you're slacking, dude. People, do you need a trademark on that? Go homes. Do you want a trademark on that? My wife's a trademark attorney. There really? You go, mm -hmm. go home or go there home. You go. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it's people are clamoring <laughs> for that, but you should maybe lock it up anyway, because lock it up, dude. You know, why not? How much is it? How much does it even run you? I mean, to get a trademark is an issue, but. <sighs> <laughs> it's, not, it's just you just got to apply for a trademark. I think the application. Maybe you just asked that, dude. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Boom. Uh, so yeah, May twenty third through twenty eighth, I'll be I'll be back. Not too. Uh, would he once he trademarked that? Would it come with like a certificate or something? Because that'd be great for you to hang up in the office there. Your um, trademark of go home or go home. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure you get some sort of. There we go. Keep that in mind, Dilo. This like is my wax so look it up. Page. Make sure I, no I wish I would have trademarked Grippy back in college because yeah, probably could have been a regular verb for a decade. Well, thank you guys for having me. Of course, as always, much love. I'll see yes, you, sir. Uh, all mutual. See you sooner um, than later. You, well, you got because you got a you got a um. A social with all your, that shows off all your work, man. You might as well plug that before we hop off here, man. Where can people follow you and see what you're yeah. doing these days? Um, Instagrams at this is going to be long, but at Handy Matt Handyman and uh, Facebook Handy Matt Handyman. Um, give them, give me a follow. We'll start putting out some more content here soon, and um, hopefully that's going to screw up your. FYP, though, you're going to get a lot of construction shit on it. But give me a follow. That'd be great. Boom. That'll finish us off. D'Lo, another hot one. I think next week, as of right now, we're going to be bringing back everyone's favorite, Alex Traver, for season six. <laughs> so we'll see what he's up to these days. Always a good time talking to him. And usually he interviews us about shit, too. So it's always a fun back and forth with him. But for now, you know what to do. Yes, sir. That's a wrap and a cap on 172. Uh, it's been a good one. Thank you again for giving us some of your free time there, Handy Matt. And uh, wish you all the best of luck on the new endeavors of working with wood and other materials. But for us here at TSP, people have been saying we've been, you guys been enjoying the vlogs. I know I've been getting some feedback. You guys been enjoying the vlogs. Our latest vlog you can check out with Bobby going to BA Sweeties in the 216 Candy Company. Largest, one of the largest in the world, the largest in America candy selection and variety about. That's featuring the Cheesecake Factory as well. So be sure to check that out. That's on our YouTube page. You can go follow us. Just type in the search category on YouTube, TSP underscore 2019. Uh, and you'll be able to see our page pop up and give us a uh, smash that subscribe button. Skull fuck the like button on this video. Also, if you liked it, uh, leave us a comment for any kind of tears you want to see us do in the future. And if you haven't also checked out, our other very first ever vlog is going to be the Jungle Gyms, where we kind of explored what felt like maybe a quarter of the store. Uh, we're going to have to definitely go back, but there's so much shit going on there. Um, a great world of Jungle Gyms, the variety that they have there, and uh, their 9% Alkies that they have as well. Uh, those uh, <laughs> those were great, great price on those. Uh, <laughs> that uh, price is an issue here, but <laughs> I just gotta play play the role, play the role. 
the go home or go home t-shirts are still in a work in progress. Uh, I mean, this uh, or work in process. I don't know what the word I'm looking for here. But like you said, the TSP on the neck collar, that's a good idea as well in the back there. Maybe this is the good design. Uh, maybe leave in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in as well. Maybe I'll just buy one for myself to see what it looks like and wear it on one of the streams here or or, or uh, episode. Uh, but you know, that's just how that's how she goes these days. You know, just gotta try it out and see how it goes. You miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. So just remember that for what Michael Jordan, doing. Michael Scott. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> yeah, percent from myself, Bobby and Handy Matt. Have a wonderful week, friends. We'll catch you later for the next one for 173.